Earlier this week, we caught up with Sofia Milanovic and Peter Goetz, and they talked a little bit about the making of their film, Sofia. We made it to Park City. It's crazy. We're here at the X Dance. Yeah, it's insane. Are you excited about showing the film for the first time? Yeah, it's good. Kind of wait to see it and to, to see everybody's reaction. What do you think about it? I mean, the way it came out. I remember when you were really reluctant to even do a film. You didn't think you deserved it. Yeah, I remember I, I told you they make documentaries of people that are dead. Dead. <laughs> So, uh, in the film, what's your favorite part of the whole, whole thing? Um, I really like the one of the last sections where I'm with all the like, people of Peru and just... I can see there in the film, like, people's faces and how they feel, and I didn't really pay attention at that moment, you know? So, are you stoked with the final version of everything? So, so stoked, yeah. And it's so gratifying to have it done and I really look forward to seeing what everybody, how everybody reacts to the film and what they think and we'll see, see what happens. <laughs> This week, we had a chance to check in with some of the filmmakers here at X Dance 2006 during our second annual Fuel TV Filmmakers Forum. Welcome, everyone. In the midst of the frenzy of X Dance, it is time for the second annual Fuel TV's Filmmakers Forum. We are joined by three filmmakers, and if you guys could introduce yourself and uh, talk about uh, the project that brought you to X Dance. Start with you. Uh, my name is Peter Getz, and uh, Sophia brought me here to X Dance. Okay. My name's uh, Colin Kennedy, and Skate Moore brought me here to X Dance. Uh, I'm Rich Goodwin, and the Community Project is my film here. And you've got the company on your lap. This is Chica, Lord of all Chihuahuas. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to pose, I guess the first question is, uh, um, a vital part of doing any of these type of films has to be the relationship with the athletes. Maybe start with you because Travis Rice was a, an integral part of the community project. Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of the basis of it all, you know. It's like, in snowboarding, there's people who snowboard and there's people that film snowboarders, you know. And it's always, you film your friends and that's how you start. Yeah. And what about with, with, with skating too, if you're, you know, if you're getting in the, the car with these guys, you're going to the spots and obviously you have to gel a little bit. There's got to be some connection. Um, yeah, I mean, of course, like, uh, I sought out a group of guys that I was on the same level with, you know, like these guys need to trust you. They need to know that when they've been sitting there trying the trick for, you know, an hour, that I'm not sitting there thinking like, God, I wish I was somewhere else, or this guy sucks, or whatever. They need to know that I'm kind of right there with them. Like, no, you got this. Right. And like, something like Sophia, you're basically getting under someone's skin for, you know, more of a documentary style. Yeah, we had some major difficulties at the beginning just winning over Sophia because, like she said at X Dance, she, she said that uh, documentaries should be made only about dead people, so she didn't feel worthy. It was a challenge at first, but then once she saw that I was a loyal, passionate person about Latin America and her story. Latin women, too. Gotta... Yeah, they're not bad either. <laughs> I always mention music. And what about with Sophia? You kind of took more uh, an authentic approach as well. Yeah, you know, I wanted to make sure there was a Latin vibe to the whole thing. And um, music's amazing because you just, it's its such part of the journey. It's just, it's really kind of a reflection of, of the experiences you've had in your life, people you've met. Stay tuned for the second half of the Filmmaker's Forum, Full Circle's director, Rich Van Every's interview, and the Fuel TV experiment film, Surfing Favela. What about your inspiration wise? I know you like telling stories, but shooting wise, anyone stand out as an inspiration for you? Um, yeah, the documentarian is named Frederick Wiseman. He did like speak up a couple old school documentaries that never have talking heads. So I always thought it was kind of interesting because to me, just 
hard in here, just pretty kiss kind of boring. Like us sitting here talking. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I like us right now. Yeah. No, but I, I want to thank you guys for, uh, for coming up and wrap, wrapping up uh, Fuel TV's Filmmakers Forum. Whether you surf, snowboard, skate, be sure to check out uh, Sophia at Skate More and Community Project. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. First, I want to thank my partner in crime on this entire film, Sam D. This guy sacrificed this whole last two years to make this thing possible. So thank you, my brother. And I also want to thank Sophia. Sophia Belongovich had an incredible story.